This white movie critic is facing some backlash for his tweet and review about the new movie Joyride, but let's talk about if the hate towards him is warranted at all and maybe what did he say that was so wrong? We're talking about Lights Camera Jackson versus Adele Lim, who wrote Crazy Rich Asians, produced Joyride. And we talk about a lot of things on this podcast from silly to serious. I'm going to go ahead and put this firmly in the silly category, Andrew. But you know what's not silly? What? Your favorite song. The race wars in America. So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. And long story short, man, of course, anybody is entitled to their opinion on anything, right? That is one of the tenets. And especially when it comes to like reviewing media pieces, you're extra entitled. However, Andrew, sometimes you can feel something from your tone that makes it feel like, how do you really feel about our entire group of people? Especially now that there's a big Asian American representation movie movie. Uh, a movement and you can identify with certain pieces more as a part of your internal identity than others. Yeah, for sure. All right, uh, guys, we're going to get into the comment section. Please hit that like button as always. Uh, all right, let me just read his tweet that kind of went viral and then it caused Adele Lim, the producer, to respond. Uh, Joyride is embarrassing, incredibly unpleasant. Like most modern adult comedies, it's a raunchy simply to be raunchy, forgetting that there has to be humor attached and there's definitely none of that. It objectifies men, targets white people, all shock value with a look at me attitude to which she replied i'm a need objectifies men targets white people on a t-shirt mm. um but she also said you know uh this is not about the thing but she said it's the first time that we are putting four asian faces in the middle of an r-rated comedy if you f up if a project with a queer lead a black lead or an asian lead fails the industry's knee-jerk reaction is to blame it on the otherness so you don't want to that fear to paralyze you and keep from c creating from a place of joy because that is how you create great art obviously mm -hmm. is creating from a place of joy yeah and i think when you have the producer of the movie respond to your tweet obviously it gets more attention and now you know from just being your 10 thousand twitter followers it becomes this whole thing you know he had to turn off his replies andrew because he was getting roasted yeah i don't think people were threatening him but i think a lot of people were like oh you can't handle the jokes blah 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 all this other stuff so i guess uh we want to get into it um real quick andrew i gotta what? ask you because what? you watched this movie I, I did is watch anything it. that lights camera jackson said do you do you feel like it was what he said or is it the way he said it or what is it, just how he looks? And it's an identity well, race war? Well, well, it could be all of the above, right? Well, well, David, you know, as the movie savant as I am, you know, let me just tell you, um, I do think it's okay to have your criticism. I think that the things he said are not, like, outrageous. I think the movie objectified Asian men in a fun and positive way, but like in a jokingly way it did. Right, in a way that they never get objectified, yeah, which is course. the historical context uh, there, for anything. There, there is some shock value in it, of course. It is a raunchy comedy. Is it meant to just be raunchy? Is there funny jokes? Yes. Did 100% of the jokes land with 100% of the people watching? No. Does it target it's white? Does it's it, so contextual. Does it target white people? In the beginning, it does. It makes some jokes about white corporate men, but it's not that bad, man. But I guess... I just think that his tone, he didn't say anything yeah. positive about it, and he just sounded super whiny. And 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 this is another reason why people are hating on it. They saw him tweet about everything, everywhere, all at once, mm. and he was hypercritical about that, too. But he did give, what, a 50-50 review to the other Past piece? Past lives? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I mean, here's the truth, right? Everything is contextual. Like, when, anytime you see a white guy say, oh, this is targeting white people, he's obviously not following up with a tweet being like, yes, I understand that white people dominated essentially most of the globe Guys, for the past 300 years so technically it's not really right. punching uh it's punching up and not well, punching down blah, blah, blah. here let me tell you this action jackson whatever lights camera <laughs> he's called him action jackson all right if i as an asian man wanted to crap on every movie that ever played out an asian male character then i would be just writing off almost 50% of the movies that had an Asian male character. If not more. Like, right off the bat, I'd just be like, right. well, this was targeting Asian men because it put Asian men in a nerdy light. It said that we had small peepees. Uh, this is a bad movie. Like, easy, easy and, for and me. That's why we have to get into the comments section because a lot of people were talking about white fragility. A lot of people are not used to white people in 2023. I guess you could say it's more it's more okay to joke on them. Yeah, it is the, true. It's true. That, it is true. No, it's true that they are kind of the more joked on race right now. Um, I hope it's not hurting too many feelings, but I would just say, you know, I don't think the jokes are too harsh. So That's I got three sections of comments All today. Right. I got some from Asian commenters that were obviously defending Joe Ride primarily. I have older white conservatives. They Ooh, have their own section okay. and a sort of like very liberal progressive whites 
that are like against this Jackson guy. Well, all right, David. Uh, you know, I love a good race war, so let's go through the comments. All right, so these are comments from Asians off Instagram. Somebody said, after reading his review of everything all at once, I knew his reviews cannot be trusted. Somebody said, there are valued, valid critiques of this film. This man's critiques, however, are not valid. Mm. Um, is this true or not? Can you invalidate somebody? Does it look like he's... He, I would say that this guy certainly doesn't seem like he's spotting the Asian representation movement any additional points no and i think that would he go this hard on a movie with black people in it david or latin people yeah that's I the mean, classic question guys is he going extra hard because it's asian movie and asians are the not super oppressed minority i don't know somebody said when the entire existence of white people comedy is based on homophobia fat phobia transphobia and racism um <laughs> this was like another thing obviously you know from the previous I guess previous decades, Andrew, there for sure was a lot of white male bro comedies that, that did sometimes make jokes. Yeah, I mean, things. listen, the all famous hangover, you know, they still did they kind of make some Asian jokes? Yeah. Sort of. Not they maybe weren't the worst, but they made some Asian jokes. Somebody said F off and let us enjoy our movies. Not everything is meant to appeal to white men. Do you think it's true, Andrew? Like like straight white guys might not like Joyride because yeah. it might not play to their sensibilities. Because like we were saying, Andrew, comedy. It's not like singing. Singing, that person is objectively good at singing. Comedy oftentimes is what you relate to or how it plays with your worldview. Yeah, for sure. I would also say that Asians don't have to take what he said with so much weight either because who is he? Is he just one of those tomato reviewers that pop up on Rotten Tomatoes? Then who cares? Somebody says not everything has to revolve around white men being the alpha and every type of minority woman swooning over him, huh? Finally, it's nice to poke at fun of white people for a change. This is clearly white fragility talking about their waning dominance over the world. Yeah, trust me, not every comedy moving forward is going to make fun of white dudes all the time, okay? This is truly one of the only movies that kind of does that, to be honest. Somebody said, man, other races have had jokes targeted them for decades. It seems like he never turned learned how to take a joke. Mm. Obviously, there's a lot of attacks. Somebody said, uh, man, I'm just playing this tiny violin for him. And somebody said, why are people just giving him so much attention? It really should be about global adoption, too. Like, people need to talk to what this is doing for uh, the global, like, adoption trade, bringing light to it. Oh, that's a really interesting point. And maybe this person is... Uh, has uh, friends that are adoptees or is an adoptee themselves. But yes, it is a story about an adopted Asian girl. So of course, you know, that could open up that conversation. But you're right, that's not getting any light. Right, but to be fair, I'm not, by the way, I'm not taking what this guy's name aside. I don't know if everybody has to speak to somebody about what this movie means to that community to review the movie. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, to review a movie or to review anything, especially in the age of the internet, all you got to do is watch it and have an opinion. But of course, this guy is touts himself as a Emmy Award winning critique, critic, or whatever. So I'm saying like, I guess he does feel like he has some more weight. I mean, to be honest, what he said is fair critique in a way. I think it's just that he didn't say anything positive about it, which is crazy. Right. But at the same time, does a critic have to? And why does everybody care about what this guy yeah. with like 10,000 reviewers says? Maybe, maybe we shouldn't care what... A white guy thinks on yeah. Twitter. Let's get into the Yahoo News section, Andrew. You know there's going to be something spicy here. Someone said, so she gets called out for anti-white bigotry, and her response from her and her fellow leftists is to double down on it. Remarkable. This is what actual privilege in 2023 looks like. It's minority privilege. Minorities are allowed to ridicule, stereotype, and make fun of white people in their culture and even do white face. But if the situation is reversed, it would be called racist, and the artist would be hounded out of their jobs. Um, somebody said, show me one example of whiteface. And somebody said, white chicks. All right. I mean, dude, I think when comedies are so ridiculous, like Joyride is or the movie White Chicks, there is a little bit of a pass. You can't always pull the, well, reviews reverse it then. You know, I mean, you can, but like. Obviously, we are all operating in several centuries of, I guess you would say, whatever you want to categorize as white, if you want to say yeah. it's Anglo-Saxon or whatever, like white global dominance, right? right? Everybody has to acknowledge that if we're being super real and yeah. peeing the layers of the onion back. But right? if you want me to be super real, all these people leaving the more conservative comments will never and have not seen the movie. Right. Somebody said if she, if she was darker, he would not have made that comment that was against her initially. Right. Uh, no, like that's that's I think this comment is saying that if it was Joyride with like four black women, maybe he's not tweeting that. Maybe Action Jackson isn't tweeting it that hard. Hey, what if he is just a heritageist? 
instead of being a racist, he was like, if your group wasn't in America past longer than 50 years, that's when I don't care about you. I, I noticed that that's like a thing, actually. I, I'm going to make another video about that. Some people, Andrew, uh, are stopping to become American. They're not as much racist as they are heritageists. The foundational yeah, Americans. Yeah, if you are not a foundational American, the people go against you. Somebody said, white men are usually generally pretty big fans of Asian entertainment. Perhaps you shouldn't insult your biggest fans. You know, run off white people and see how many black people switch from BET to watch Joyride. This was a comment from a white male. Mm. Um, that's an interesting comment. This is, uh, oh yeah. And by the way, when he says fans of Asian entertainment, what Asian entertainment is that? The hub, Mr. You know Jesse, you know, you know, it's the hub moving on to liberal white comments going against lights, camera, Jackson, Andrew, somebody said, oh no, will somebody think of us, the poor targeted white people. And this guy said, we white men will just have to be satisfied with controlling the overwhelming majority of political offices, cultural output, and financial capital in this country. Woe is us. Woe is us. Yeah, I, all right, here's my thing. When it comes to white fragility, listen, I understand that maybe as a white guy, you feel like you're getting made fun of a little bit more. Because for sure. You are the, getting the, made the, fun the, of. The heat has got cranked up a little bit, As right? a white man, you are getting made fun of more and getting joked on more than it was in past history. But I just want to ask the question, what are the statistics to show that white men are being discriminated against or oppressed in any way? Right. Show me the stats that are measurable yeah. Instead of just being like, oh, well, I didn't like that joke about white men in a movie when white guys should just always be getting with the Asian girl. But instead, it seems like Ling hey, Ling hey, is hey, talking hey, back. Let me turn off Joyride and throw on some of these James yeah. Bond hey, what's movies. Up with these, what's up with these women, man? None of them are hooking up with white dudes in this movie. Something's off. I mean, is it true, though, that humans, Andrew, they more go off the normalized baseline of what they expect rather than, like, contextualizing everything in terms of, like, the raw score of everybody? Right, right, right. So, obviously, if white guys were are used to being up 60 points in a basketball game and all of a sudden they're only up like 35 technically mathematically that's minus 25 Man, right? i think they're up still 45 you guys are good somebody said objectifies men targets white people sounds like a line from legislation originating in texas or florida and then some white person said i mean it's true we're so lame and then another person was a little bit more moderate they said the critics line about targeting white people is silly having seen it every other part of what he said though is fair so this was more of like uh, somebody being like, oh, I didn't like that part. But yeah, that movie is just like raunchy. It just is a hangover yeah, for women. Yeah, you know why the targeting white people line is important here? Because it all it makes it a race thing. Mm. Because he could have left a review at, I didn't like the story. I wasn't into the characters. It was raunchy for no reason. I think that's like critique that like, you know, you can have. But when he said, well, and it's targeting white people and then objectifying men. It's like, bro, how it objectifies men is that's crazy. That, those two lines, it, 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 that's what Adele Lim said. Yeah. She said it sounds kind of goofy. Yeah, it does sound... It she, so didn't, she, didn't get ba ba she didn't get mad at him about, oh, this is too raunchy. Yeah. She got mad at being like, yo, really? I mean, she didn't men. really diss him that bad, saying no. I need that on a t-shirt. I mean, I think people are also contextualizing it within his review of everything all at once. Which, uh, to be fair, I mean, that movie is very frenetic. He yeah. called it, like, jumbled. But, yeah, I mean, would, do I think this guy is a good movie reviewer no do i but i do i think he's entitled to his opinion but do i think this also turned into a race war in the yeah. instagram comment section i guess david in the takeaway uh you know do you think it's kind of like open season on white people when white people are always like man they're making fun of us man it's open season on white. I, we're the only people that's it's okay to make fun of yeah i feel like in hollywood right now there is a moment where it is more acceptable, but it's kind of weird because it's like very, very nuanced. I, I don't even know if I have enough time to explain this, but like there could be people who like most of their friends are white. Like they only date other white people, whether they're a guy or a girl or whatever the orientation they are, but they only date other white people, but they still tweet a lot of like white jokes. Mm -hmm. And there could be people living in an Asian enclave or, and they're completely, life is like so Asian and they would never tweet anything bad about white people. Right. So it's kind of hard to say, like, just because you make jokes on white people, it doesn't mean that you're anti-white hegemony yeah. or supremacy either. Exactly. exactly. Like, you could totally be buying into it while dissing them because that's what's in vogue right now. Yeah. I have an Instagram clip where I kind of poke fun at maybe dating white girls. I had fun with, 
It's a joke. It's yeah. in the context so, so, of a so, comedy. So what I'm saying is like these slipstreams within like culture of what is okay to make up fun of or punch up or punch down at. I don't know if there's always the macro translation to like global society that people are drawing. Yeah. You know what? In the movie, I'll give you a spoiler. Listen, there's a white boss that is in the movie and he's still a tall white boss of her. Okay. And even though there's like some jokes about him being like an ultra PC white guy, it's not that bad, bro. It's not that bad. It's honestly, I have a pretty good sensor of this, guys. It's not that bad. But you know what the funny thing is, Andrew? People want to make this about Joyride, but it's basically about like, it is about white dominance about globally and white fragility, about potentially that dominance feeling endangered, well, right? Well, thank you, Action Flick Jackson, for making it about white guys. But you know the interesting thing is, nobody in the comments section wants to take it to that macro, like almost like, earth stopping level right people want to keep it within the context of the movie they don't want to take it to the race wars of america even though that might be the symptom uh you know the core of the yeah. symptoms this should be our theme song anyways all right guys let me know in the comments down below have you seen the movie joyride do you think his critique has any merit did it seem like his tone was off and uh are we just going to get mad at every single critic that 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 critiques an Asian movie. I mean, I get why we do because it's kind of our identity. Right. But I also, we feel like that's an attack on us because yeah. we're finally getting our shot after what a hundred years in American yeah. cinema since 1920 or whatever. Sorry, sorry. Listen, if I'm a numberist, but he only had like nine thousand followers on Twitter, I don't really care. <laughs> hey guys, honestly, I think there's valid arguments on all sides. Like I said, silly to serious. To me, it's silly, but some people took it real serious. Until next time, let us know what you think in the comment sections. We out. Peace. Peace.